Hello again, it's Keith James with 96 One in the Mornings and how to solve a Rubik's Cube in under two minutes. And if you're with us this far, uh, we solved the bottom layer and the middle layer too. And now we're after this top layer. So it's going to take us about four steps to do it. The first one is today. And we're trying to form the yellow cross. That's step number one. And there's three different configurations you're going to see on top here after you've solved these two layers. I'm going to go over each one in detail. And here comes the first one. Okay, the first of three things you might run into is something called the bar. Obviously, it's half the cross. We need to get these other two edges in here, and you might even see a couple of extra corners too. But as long as you got three yellow in a row, that's your bar. So hold your cube just like this. And again, I'm holding it backwards so that the camera can see, so you can see properly. So the way I'm holding it is as if you were to take it away from me. That's how you're going to hold it facing you. And even though I'm doing this backwards, which is kind of crazy. So, <laughs> you're going to memorize six moves to do this. It's a six move algorithm, and we're going to solve this in six moves. Here we go. We're going to turn the bar into the cross. So take your left side, clockwise, right side clockwise, and top face counterclockwise, or clockwise rather. Okay, then you go back. Put them all back, starting with the right. Right goes back, up goes back and left goes back and there we have well it's a cross with two extra corners which is good so but you can see how you have the cross right there so that's the first instance now on to the second one okay the second instance you're going to run into is half the cross solved again but this one is the v right here so you got two edges you need two more edges and again you might see some corners but ignore the corners we're just looking for the edges for now so look for the v hold the cube just like i'm showing it to you with the v pointing towards you just like this and here's the uh, six moves you're going to use this time. We're going to rearrange the first six that we did. And here we go. So left face clockwise, up face clockwise, right face clockwise, and then put them back starting with the up. So up goes counterclockwise, right goes counterclockwise, and we're going to go counterclockwise again on the left face, and boom! There is your yellow cross for the V. Now for the third thing. Okay, the third and final thing that you will see when solving for the yellow cross is the dot, which we call the dot. There's absolutely no edges solved at all, so you have to combine the first two algorithms that we used and do them in order, in order to solve this. So the first one we're going to do is the one we used for the bar. Okay, so we're going to do the left face clockwise, right face clockwise, up face clockwise, and then put them back starting with the right. So right goes back, up goes back and left goes back. All right, so look what we did. We made a V. Now we use the V algorithm in order to pull this one off. Okay, so we got left side clockwise again, up clockwise, and right clockwise. And we put them all back, starting with the up. We're going to go back counterclock for that. Right goes counterclock, and then left goes counterclock. And once again, we have the yellow cross. Just like that. That's step one to solve the, the, uh, the top face. Next up, we're going to try and solve these yellow corners here and turn this all this whole face yellow. So I'm Keith James with How to Solve a Rubik's Cube in under two minutes and 96.1 in the mornings and hopefully you'll be here for episode eight. I'll see you then.